Morena Internet. We've had some really heavy frost this week, so I thought an extra hot water bottle for the occupants of the caravan wouldn't go amiss, which means, of course, I have to make a nice quilted cover for it. I've made a few of these covers before, so I already have a template. But if you want to make your own, all you need to do is trace around a hot water bottle, leaving about one and a half inches of extra space around it. Make sure you don't go in too tight around the neck, just make it a nice smooth curve. For the back, make two overlapping pieces. About a two inch overlap is enough, just below the shoulders of the bottle. Now of course you could just make the cover out of a single piece of fabric. I think you could maybe squeeze it into a fat quarter if you were really careful. But I think it's much more fun to piece a cover. It's also a good way to use up orphan blocks. For this one, I'm going to just put together a few charm squares out of my collection of leftovers. Whatever you do, it just needs to end up being slightly bigger than the template. Next, cut some batting and some backing and make your quilt sandwich. I normally use flannel or fleece for the batting just to add an extra layer of insulation. Or you could use two layers of batting. Generally I'll do a pretty simple quilting design for a hot water bottle because it's going to be trimmed down. These colours are kind of reminding me of India though, so I think I want to put a big peacock feather down the middle. Hmm. Not really my best peacock feather, but it's okay. Once the three parts are quilted, trim them down to the shape of the templates. They don't have to be 100% accurate. Now put some binding along the two straight edges which will form the opening. The other edges can just be left raw. And now we're ready to put the hot water bottle together. Layer the parts right sides together, stitch all the way around, about a quarter inch seam. You probably don't have to finish the seam, but I like to just do a quick zigzag around the edge just to make sure it's not going to fray. And now flip it inside out and there's your hot water bottle cover. easy to get the bottle in and out, or you can just flip the top over to fill it. I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. If you try making one yourself, let me know. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Kakiteano internet! <laughs>